new installment in the turntable series, but this time I 3D printed a different version. This one is not designed by me, in fact I downloaded it from Maker World. Link in the box below, so thanks to the maker for it. Why would you watch another turntable video though? Because everyone has different ideas and creativity, so I really wanted to see what other people came up with on this topic. My version you can see here, the first one, also full video in the cards and the box below, was fully designed by me. But not being super skilled in electronics, I thought to give it a go and see what I can come up with. And the result is not too bad, maybe a bit chunky, yes, components too big, yes, but it works. For sure it's not perfect and the top does create too much friction laying on the base, but that's why I'm working already on version number two, which is this one right here. Not gonna show what's inside, but yeah. So this is the first version and this is gonna be the second one, which it'll be great. Slimmer look, smaller components and no friction. So if you want to see how I found out the solution to the friction problem, make sure to subscribe and turn the notification bell on so you won't miss the updated project. So what's different with the model that I downloaded? Well, the maker found this electric coffee grinder on the Bamboo Lab maker page, I think that's where it is, and figured out a way to use the electronics to make a turntable, which I think it's pretty genius. Spread across five printers to make it quicker between three and four hours each plate, except for the worm gear and the button, which took only 30 minutes-ish. Well, let's assemble it and test it right away and then compare it to my version. We have the base which holds the PCB, the motor, the battery, the button and the warm gear. In the box with the electronics, we can also find some screws and the big bearing, which takes the main part for this to work. We lock the bearing into the base. Really snug fit. Then we connect the battery to the PCB. Make sure to check the instructions. After that, we connect the motor to the PCB. Last but not least, we attach the little button onto the PCB. And slide all the assembly parts in their respective slots. Then we grab the big printed gear and lock it onto the bearing with the base. Using the provided screws, we secure the top lid on top. Last, we take the top rotating plate and lock it on top of everything. And we are ready to go. Just push the button and you should see the turntable moving and doing its thing. Forgot to mention that the battery is a lithium battery that can be charged via USB-C thanks to the PCB. Now let's see the pros and cons and if it's worth it or not. So let's test it right away and just pushing the button right here. First thing I noticed that it's really loud. It's probably louder than mine and let's see. Okay, maybe the same. Let's put them together. This one is definitely louder. I don't know if you can tell. This is my version, this is how it sounds. This is the new version and this is how it sounds. And let's put some object on top of them. It's definitely less noisier. Let's do the other one, the new one. Yeah, it is definitely louder, but that's because of the friction. In fact, if we remove the lid, there is less noise. 
the both of them have this friction problem because there is no space between the top and the base, even my version. But the new version that I'm making is gonna be a little different. Also the components, like I mentioned, the motor is gonna be a little smaller, but the great thing about this new version is gonna be completely frictionless, if that's an actual term, because the lid is not gonna touch the base whatsoever. So stay tuned for that. Pros and cons between my version and the new version. My version is obviously too chunky and too big, but it works a little better because the motor is bigger. So for this one, I would say that it's a little bit too big like surface wise, but it's not too bad. And also it's very, very short, very slick looking. And also the components are very, very small, but that could be a problem if we put some really heavy weights, for example, like a couple of spools. In fact, let's see how it performs with a couple of spools. So here we have two spools, one kilo and a half maybe, we'll see. It is struggling, I can tell. The noise is pretty loud, so it is struggling. If I take them out, it's gonna be fine, and then a lot of struggle. So this is probably good for smaller objects, such as this one, like that, or this one. But my version can take a little bit more weight. Hopefully with the new version, it's gonna be a compromise between the two versions. So it's gonna be a little shorter, smaller components, but still a very strong motor that can handle maybe two kilograms and also not making contact with the base and have no friction. And this is my conclusion. It's always a good thing to try different makes, ideas and projects, even from other makers. The end goal is to achieve an almost perfect product that works and does its job. In this case, our turntable has to be minimal and rotate, that's really it. There are plenty of options on the web and as usual the choice is yours based on your needs, but I will keep working on the next and possibly the final version of this turntable. If you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it, please do consider to subscribe, like and comment your thoughts in the box below. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Alessio, this is Spectrum Filament and I'll see you next week for a new exciting video.